Hi, I'm Kelly Mayo, the president of the Endocrine Society. I want to take just a few moments to tell you a bit about our plans for Endo 2011, the Society's 93rd annual meeting and exposition to be held in Boston, Massachusetts, June 4th through 7th of this year. Our annual meeting steering committee, chaired by overall chair John Levine, basic science chair Gail Risbridger, as well as clinical chair Brad Anawalt, have done really a superb job of putting together a well-balanced and outstanding scientific conference. Well, the conference itself, I think, will have something for everybody and is very diverse, bringing us the latest in discoveries in basic and clinical endocrinology. I want to highlight a special emphasis this year on nuclear receptor biology. Nuclear receptors have played a really key part in discovering basic mechanisms of hormone action. They're key targets for therapeutics in endocrine disease. And of course, they have a long and illustrious history within the endocrine society. I'm very pleased that we're able to celebrate those connections by having our opening plenary lectures, our presidential plenaries, given by Ron Evans on nuclear receptors and metabolism and Bert O'Malley on nuclear receptor co-regulators. Other special programming in this area will include the year in orphan nuclear receptors to be presented by David Moore, as well as a special program on nuclear receptors, past, present, and future, to be led by Janaki Gustafsson and John Baxter. As well, we have 10 outstanding basic and translational symposia in the area of nuclear receptor biology. Endo 2011 will be an outstanding meeting and as chair of the annual meeting steering committee, uh, I have had the opportunity to work with some of the society's most knowledgeable uh, and energetic members to put together really an incredibly exciting uh, program. One that I know will provide uh, a wide spectrum of opportunities uh, to learn, uh, to communicate, to connect, uh, with and enjoy the international community of endocrinologists. Of course, besides the focus on uh, nuclear receptors, uh, we have a wide array of topics and high-profile speakers discussing uh, recent advances on topics that really range from endocrine disruptor chemicals to hormone therapy and uh, additional topics that I know will appeal to a broad range of you uh, within the society. Uh, this year, the uh, Clark T. Salwin Memorial History of Endocrinology Lecture will be given by uh, Michael uh, Hollick, uh, who will provide a fascinating account of the history of the endocrinology of vitamin D. In addition, we're very proud to present uh, this year's year in lectures. Uh, they come in two varieties, of course, the, the clinical year-ins and the basic year-ins. We're going to feature for the first time a master's clinician session. This will be debuted and is in, intended to offer highly experienced uh, clinicians a platform to discuss some very difficult cases with the experts. The trainee day happens on the Friday at the front end of the meeting, and it is a day that is chock full of both uh, clinical and parallel basic science programming. ENDO is one of the few meetings that really beautifully blends basic research, clinical investigation, and clinical practice in the field of endocrinology. I think this is a real strength of the meeting and indeed of the Endocrine Society. For me, the heart of the meeting is always the poster session. It provides an excellent opportunity for in-depth discussion and for networking. Many productive collaborations begin around the poster sessions. I know that's certainly true for me. And for many of us, an early presentation of a poster at the endocrine meeting was a key opportunity to meet leaders in the field and get their important feedback from uh, those experts. So Endo 2011 really promises to be a terrific meeting. While well, I've described for you just a few highlights, there's much, much more, so please don't miss it. I encourage you to register now, and I want to remind you to also consider attending some of our pre-meeting events, including our workshops in the area of diabetes, diagnosis and management, 
and thyroid ultrasound, as well as our always popular and highly successful trainee day. Thanks for listening, and I hope to see you in Boston.